dear learners i extend hearty welcome all of you to my presentation hope you are all well in this critical pandemic situation dear students uh, today i am going to talk about uh, unseen comprehension as you know and it may help you to write a story and also to write a paragraph so dear students let's start this is uh, my identity so dear students what can you see in the pictures this is a fox isn't it and what is the what happened in this fox the it's a fox and it has no tail isn't it so can you guess what we are going to talk about yes you have a good guess your idea is also right today we are going to talk about the fox without tail so dear students before starting my presentation i like to talk uh, the learning outcome today we will uh, what we will discuss today by the end of the uh, lesson you will be able to say true or false statements and to to practice grammar especially today we will practice simple past next one to fill the gaps with clues from the text and to write a paragraph about the fox without a tail so these are the learning learning outcomes today we are going to talk about first we will introduce some vocab um look at the vocab what can you see this is called what is the picture the picture is called trap and the another synonym of the word trap is ambush what can you see a student is walking this is called walk and the synonym of the walk march or hide so dear student what can you see jungle and this is called forest another name of the jungle is called forest what can you see in the picture cut off that means uh, disconnect okay these are the important words uh, today we will know now look at the pictures a fox is walking isn't it a fox is walking in the uh, uh, forest like area so can you see what is uh, looking for something is looking where the walking he falls into a trap suppose while walking it fell into a trap look at the pictures the uh, this is a cartoon like picture the fox fell into a trap and the his its tail has stuck in the trap so dear learners now the fox has lost its tail isn't it so what is doing now it's thinking what can we do is thinking and making a plan itself okay dear students and for this reason the fox with a tail um call a meeting with the other fox of the jungle you can see the pictures so the fox is are in a meeting and the fox with a tail told the fox that the tail is very unnecessary things for them it also bears the doubt and uh, and looks unhygienic by saying this the fox with the tail try to beguile the other fox okay dear learners uh, now look at the text a fox was walking through the jungle he fell into a trap and left it he came behind he felt very sad and ashamed he called a meeting and told all the foxes cut off their tails but a wise fox understood his plan and they went away <clears throat> okay dear learners now a right to true statement from the fox so first one is the fox mr fox did not know anything about mr fox's meeting is it true or false yes is true second one is the fox did not know anything about the mr fox's plan after 
after discussing with the fox without tails they understood that there is a some sinister purpose behind this without tail fox okay this is true and now we are going to practice some grammar presentation and look at the statement uh, structure dear students uh, uh, today i will uh, talk about the past form of the verb so you have to make some words with the verb as i will give you so first one you have to know that the structure of the past form and you use subject v2 and extension okay dear learners i have written a sentence and by following the structure you need to know mina told them there is a verb told the present form of the told is tell mina if there is a present form mina tells but i have to use you you have to use past form of the verb mina told them about mrs fox tail like you this sentence you need to make more sentence by this following verbs there are 1 2 3 4 verbs okay right pause the video write it uh, write it uh, quickly okay make sentences using first form of the following verbs okay have you got it i am moving on to the next slide i think you have uh, written nicely draw make a sentence i am saying a sentence with the verb draw he drew a picture of a fox without tail right what will be the sentence i am telling he wrote a letter to me see what will be the sentence if i use in past form he sang a song play what will be the sentence by using the verb play in the past form he played football he started okay that you may write another sentence so like this you may make more other sentences so dear students now moving on to the next this is uh, gaffling activities and there is no group you try yourself in your uh, home by pause the video and try to make the uh, fill in the gaps and there is a verb in the trap sat plan shing thing so 1 2 3 4 verb quickly mr fox lost his tail in a what crap very good then he felt very sad and ashamed so he made a plan so simple dear students so you need to uh, know that where is the word suitable for its place so dear students now this is the time for evaluation now tell me some uh, answers uh, of the questions who felt very pleased can you guess who felt very pleased and next one give an example of the past indefinite tense as you write more uh, more sentences with first form of the verb who called meeting can you guess and next one change the tense into past form change the sentence into past form change the past tense mr fox falls into a trap so dear students uh, pause the video try to uh, make the answer of these uh, four questions give an example of the past indefinite tense who called meeting change past tense mr fox falls into a trap okay dear students i am moving on to the next so there is the uh, end of my uh, presentation so this is the time for homework write down the uh, question write a short paragraph about the fox without tail okay dear student i think you have uh, written the uh, homework question okay dear student thank you very much for watching my presentation hope you uh, see you soon goodbye